Hi everyone, I'm Lou Copper, broadcasting from Point Blank Music School here in East London. Welcome along to the EMC session in the Academy of Electronic Music, brought to you by Google, Armada Music, DJ Mag and Point Blank. So we are now entering the next week of this exclusive Hangout series and hope you are enjoying the event as much as we are. This week we are going to take a look at bass lines, chords and melodies. So here's your tutor, Ski Oakenfall. All right, thanks Luke. I'm course developer and tutor at Point Blank and I'm putting the seven winners and you through your paces on the electronic music composition course via this series of exclusive Hangouts. Remember, if you want to try this course for free, head on over to www.pointblankonline.net forward slash free hyphen stuff and click free core samples. So Ski, uh, tell us about what you've got in store today. Okay, so we're going to sort of be getting a bit funky today. We're going to look at bass lines and we're going to look at two uh, main scenarios of bass lines. The first one is when we underpin chords. So we, last week, remember, we looked at key signatures, scales and chords. So that's the first scenario. And the next one is when we have more of a sort of melodic approach to bass lines where they almost have a sort of personality uh, to themselves. So um, I'm going to be breaking down this track by Storm Queen called Look Right Through in Ableton just to sort of demonstrate the chords and how the bass works with that. Uh, so that's the first thing. Um, also, Ryan. Um, hi, Ryan. Hope you can see. Oh, yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> Just uh, a couple of days ago, Ryan uh, sent me a message through the course um, asking me to have a look at some chords of this quite old trance track because uh, he was thinking about how maybe he could incorporate some of those chords into his own track. So um, I'm going to have a look at that. And, uh, and then finally, uh, if you remember at the end of the last Hangout, I set a task, um, which was basically to come up with some music. Well, I asked the guys to come up with some music to go under that Florence and the Machine uh, a cappella, mm -hmm. Spectrum a cappella. And... Uh, so sort of the quality's been really high as it was last time <laughs> and uh, had some fantastic tracks that have come through. Um, so, yeah, I think sort of without further ado, I think we should, uh, we should get into it. Actually, just before we do that, I just want to remind everyone at home um, the fact that uh, these guys, the seven winners, are currently taking this uh, EMC course. And uh, we're into week two now. And I just thought I'd just kind of show you uh, what it looks like just to sort of see. There we go. I'm just going to do a screen share. So I hope you can see that. So this is the, the page here. You can see we can go through the different weeks, the lessons. This is the one we did last week, lesson one, keys, chords, and arpeggios. And we're now in lesson two. Started today, and uh, you can see it's kind of starting off with chord progressions, chord devices, just the things that we talked about um, last week. But uh, you can see halfway through its baseline. So we're kind of skipping ahead a little bit, but uh, you know, this, this, this is what the guys are doing. And I'll just show you some of the pages. Here we go, there's a picture of the Beatles there jamming out a bass line, Paul McCartney, and uh, here we go. So there's lots of great stuff, really, really great videos on the EMC course. Um, so I'm just going to go back to this now and uh, just share my Ableton screen. There we go. I forgot to say hi to you guys, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hope you had a good weekend. Uh Hey, what's up, yes? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good weekend. Yeah. Are you all seeing my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay, yeah. so uh, today I've got uh, Ableton Push, which I'm a big fan of, and uh, I've also got uh, this base station here, which I'm actually just using, for today I'm just using as a controller, but um, I want to kind of get into that maybe in, uh, in a couple of Hangouts time and actually sort of demonstrate it because it's so great. So um, what I'm going to do is just going to put down uh, the first part of this track and uh, as ever just see if you can figure out what, what key signature we're in. I've just sketched out the beat um, and actually just so you can see here's the cover of the track so if you want to check that out it's a great tune. I think it's seen a re-release actually very yeah, recently I think so, with yeah. load of remixes so um, but this is the track so I'm just going to play it now. Bring up my keyboard as well. put in this first part. So any idea what key we're in? C minor. Yay! Fantastic. I'm going to put in the bass line now. OK, 
so very, very simple. But what we're using here are octaves. And this is sort of the first step when, when we're looking at um, bass lines is um, trying to sort of make them a bit more interesting rather than just playing one note. Firstly, looking at some kind of rhythm to make it more interesting, some syncopated rhythm, and also the use of octaves. Um, but another note as well is uh, that <coughs> can be very handy when we're thinking about bass lines is the fifth. Now I'm just going to play you kind of what that could sound like. So I'm just going to. So I'm just going to quickly talk about intervals. Um, so when I say a fifth, if we're playing the scale of C minor, this is, this is our C natural minor scale. Um, a fifth is basically measuring the distance between the first degree and the fifth degree of the scale. So this is a C, this is a G, we call this a fifth. Uh, it's actually called a perfect fifth. So we have a, uh, this would be a second, the distance between a C and a D. Uh, C and the E flat is a minor third. If it was, uh, if we were in a major scale, we'd say that the distance between a C and an E natural is a major third. C and an F is a fourth, perfect fourth. C and a G is a fifth. Very nice, <laughs> obviously kind of sixth, a seventh, and then an octave again. So um, <coughs> it's quite a safe bet if you play the uh, fifth in the bass line above the root note uh, of the chord that you're playing, then it's generally going to work within that scale. It's not going to sound sort of too out. So um, it's sort of a very, very sort of handy thing to, to use. So I'm going to go to the second section now. This is a kind of bridge section, and um, I'm going to play the chords to that. So this is here. And before I do that, I'm just going to actually bring up these chords so you can see what they are. There we go. Okay. So this is the bridge here. First chord we have is the C minor. Then we have this chord here, where basically we're just taking uh, this root note, the C, and just putting it down a step. And this actually becomes a B augmented. And then it goes to an E flat. This is a second inversion, which is why we've got the two uh, after it. So this will be the root note, root, the root position, first inversion, second inversion. And then it goes to an F major chord. So I'm just going to put that in and then talk a little bit about what's going on there. Um, so let's just play that. Let's go back to the bass now. So this one, we're just going to uh, underpin these chords. So you can see this first one is a C, so I'm going to play a C, B, B augmented. Now, this, play, this one here is um, the B flat, and even though, the, even though this chord uh, is an E flat major, um, because it's second inversion, I'm playing the B flat, which is the bottom note of that E flat second inversion. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, the, la <laughs> the last chord is an F, and I'm going up to the F. So let's just you know, stop talking about it and actually put it in. Here we go. There we go. Let's just go back to our first part now. Now there's another part that goes over this bass line, a kind of chord part, which is really nice. And I'm just going to put, put that in now. And you can see uh, I've written down the chords here, the chorus. Um, what we have is this riff here. So you remember the bass line was, get, was playing a C, an F, and a B flat. So what we get is this first chord here, which is an E flat, first inversion over C, and then an F major, and then we have this slash chord that we were talking about last week, where we have an A flat major <coughs> over B flat. So I'm just going to put that in.
So you can see it very much uh, works. Um, these, these, these bass notes are working to sort of underpin the chords. It's just a case of actually defining what those chords are. But um, this is you know, that, that kind of scenario. So this is the track. I now want to talk about another bass line, which is the, sort of the second scenario where it, uh, you know, it has a bit more of a personality. And uh, I'm sure you know this track, uh, Julio Bashmore track, Osev. I think you had a little funny anecdote about this track. <laughs> <laughs> I think the bass line just stands out because every time you hear it out, out in the club, you, you hear people singing along. So, you know, the bass line, as you say, it has character. It must, it must be doing the right thing. You know? It must be, yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. exactly. Um, well, I'm just going to play it to you now. I've just sketched out the beat again and I just took there's a little sample as well. So it is a very distinctive bass line. Let's just put it in, uh, just record it in, see if I can actually uh, play that last bit and stop at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a challenge. <laughs> Made it. <laughs> Very skillful. Okay, so... And another classic one as well um, is uh, Good Times as well by <coughs> Sheik. So I'm just going to play that as well. Let's just get rid of that bass for the moment. quite well with that beat yeah. <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but you know that it's such a distinctive bass line and um, you know it really has got a you know a personality of, it, of, of its own like I said before. Now I just want to quickly uh, talk about that bass line um, and this is some it's a topic that we get into in in EMC2 which is second part of the electronic music composition course and that's modes. So this bass line of um, good times is in e, e minor. Pretty kind of obvious, it's got this, this kind of bottom note here. But it's, it's got this C sharp in it. Now if we just play a standard um, E minor, natural minor scale, it's only got one sharp, which is this F sharp. But in this bass line, we've got a C sharp. Um, now this is called the Dorian mode. And uh, the way that we create modes is um, by, say we, had a, we take a major scale, we take the major scale of um, D major, but we start on the second degree of that scale, which is an E, but we still play the same notes of D major. We have this scale here. And it's, got, it's just got a certain quality to it. It's almost got a kind of soulful, kind of funky sound to it. Um, and then, interestingly, uh, taking this uh, Julio Bashmore bass, you notice well, the, the key signature is F sharp, kind of F sharp minor, mainly these notes, but the second note was this G here. It kind of, kind of gives it a bit of a dark edge, yeah. I think. And again, this is another mode. Um, if we take the scale of D major again, but we start on the third degree, the F sharp, and just play the same notes that are in D major, we get the Phrygian mode. Um, so, you know, <laughs> I don't want to sort of bombard you with all this kind of uh, musical terminology, but you know, you can see it in action in a lot of electronic music. So it's perfectly sort of valid, and you know, it's not something that you should, you know, you know, you you, you have to kind of go out and study and, and be able to play all these scales. But certainly, at this stage, to be aware of it, I think, mm. is a, is is a really cool thing. So um, I'm just going to go back to you guys and see if you're still there. See if you haven't kind of nodded off with all that. <laughs> 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 is this something you, you ever kind of studied yourselves or you, you were aware of, like modes? Not for me, no, it's a new thing. Not really. I've, I've heard of it, but never really studied it. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I think for, for me the most uh, common mode um, in electronic music is the Dorian. You know, you really hear it a lot, especially... Um, in kind of lo lots of kind of deep house stuff, it's got a real, really sort of distinctive sound to it. So, uh, you know, I'll try to give some more examples as we go along through the weeks. But um, 
that's that anyway. So, um, Ryan, I'm going to go over to you now because you sent me this track. Uh, <coughs> you wanted to have a look at some chords. Yeah, if you can do, that'd be great. Okay, cool. Well, uh, let me just load it up. I'm just going to go back to Ableton and uh, we'll go back to that now. Okay. I don't, I don't uh, know this track. It's, it's uh, how old is it? I don't quite know. It was literally it popped up because I was listening to some old tracks on my uh, hard drive the other day, and I just stumbled across it and, and really liked the breakdown in it. You know I mean? It's kind of like an intro mix. That's okay. What track. So what you sent me, what you sent me was that uh, the intro or the, or a breakdown section? Yeah, it's like a it's like an intro mix to um, a track. I think it Roger Shaw and uh, Pedro Del Mar made a house track of it a okay. long, long time ago. So it's called what? Vivagio? Yeah. Okay, I'll just play it to you now. Did you figure out the key signature? I think it's a G minor. G major. G major. G major. Yeah. That's right. So I've got the chords here. I'm just going to bring them up. It disappeared. This is quite simple, really. So we've got G major as the first one. Then D major, which is the five chord, and E minor, which is the six chord, and then C major, which is the four chord. And obviously it's got that kind of melody going over the top of it as well. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, to be honest. Um, okay. Let's just put this down not to just G. D major, then E minor, C major. Is that cool? Yeah, that's all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's tricky to try and figure out the actual melody over the top as oh. well. That's what I was struggling with. Oh, really? Okay. Let's just have a look at that now. That, I think that's kind of pretty much it. Um, but yeah, I'd have to kind of actually, you know, put, record this in and actually, you know, put put the parts in. But um, I could kind of easily do that and then and then send that over to you. Yeah, if you could, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, great no, to have a look at it. No problem at all. Um, cool. All right. Well, uh, last but not least, I want to have a listen to the tracks that you sent because there's some great stuff. And um, I'm just going to go back to that now. Let's just bring this up. Uh, here we go. Um, so, uh, from your kind of comments and the communication that came through the course, um, you had a few problems with the a cappella, I think, some of you, like just timing wise. Yeah, I mean, it, it was actually in tempo when, when we obviously set it, but I think the singer went out of sync herself and then came back in. That's yeah. what I kind of felt it was doing. Yeah. I mean,. Um, it, 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 in a way, it's kind of a good exercise when you're working with acapellas because uh, you know not all tracks are, are recorded to a click, especially older tunes. Yeah. You know, and you do yeah, actually yeah. have to you know do a bit of work yourself. You know, whether that's with flex time and logic, yeah. um, or in Ableton with warping as well. So yeah. um, you know, it's, it's not just doesn't apply to vocals. It could be any track. You know, I mean, I, I've mm -hmm. I've sort of taken some old kind of funk tunes because I wanted to mix them in with a house track. You know, and I've gone through. It's really laborious in in uh, Ableton, but to go through and actually sort of sync it all up yeah. in, um, in Ableton can be, you know, cool. But, um, but anyway, I mean, I think uh, most of you kind of did, you know, you got round that. Um, let's just go through them. This is uh, Aaron's track. Uh, it's going to play this from the start. <laughs> Here we were 
were cold and we were clear. Beautiful With cold. No colors on our skin. We were light and paper thin. And when we first came here, we were cold and we were clear. With no colors on our skin. So we let the spectrum in. Really nice, Aaron. Fantastic. Um, Thank you. <laughs> it's just got a great kind of groove to it, you know, really good feel. Mm -hmm. You know, is it, did you put, it sounds like it's a bit of swing on, on the drums there. Uh, yeah, I try to, you know, I like melody a lot, so I try to just uh, use a lot of, of melody. I also, I also use the flex, flex tool for the vocals because it was kind of tricky just to, to put it, you know. Yeah. But, the there was only one point that I thought it didn't sound right, mm -hmm. uh, which is just when the vocals, it, just when the beat comes in here. I think okay. the, the one is the name, so it's saying my name, that's, that's kind of, okay. that's the only bit, but then it seems to kind of fix itself after that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I just did it very quickly, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I didn't have so much time to, to use a flex on that, yeah. but I just did it quick. But it's great. I love the chords. Thank you. I love the chords that you've chosen for that as well. Really, really good. So thank uh, you. Thank you so much. <laughs> so let's go to the Adoriana version. When we first came here, we were cold and we were clear, with no colors on our skin. We were light and paper thin. And when we first came here. This is great as well, so it's working really, really well. I especially like the chords here, just this section. Really nice. Um, yeah, I th you know, it's, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of just amazed at what, you know, it, it sounds so kind of complete and finished. It's, uh, it's really good. Did you, did you spend a lot of time on this? Well, not so much as I wished, but uh, we tried to, uh, to use the inversion of the chords. Yes, uh, yeah, yeah. That we learned uh, last week. So uh, we wished uh, we had more time for this. But it's great. Uh, it was, I think that um, you know uh, again that there's maybe some some uh, moments where the timing of the vocal could be a little bit tighter, but you know it's it's all those things require time, don't they? So, uh, uh, but well done, it's great work. Uh, so I'm going to go to uh, yeah. Jonathan's now, and you you wrote. Uh, let me just read out what you said. You said this is my attempt. I changed everything <laughs> because because as we said, the, the a cappella is a bit of a nightmare. In fact, I'm just going to yeah. I'm uh, going to flick onto you now. There we go. Um, so you started with the original chords and discovered uh, something great in Ableton, something called Transpose to change the range of the notes. With that, I created yeah. a few new chords. Then I realized that there are many new producers who are seeing our hangouts and maybe are interested in the new sounds of EDM. So I decided to take the example of two songs from Avicii and adapt the notes I already had. 
to show that is a simple, simple to make that style of music. So I tell you what, should we have a listen to the track and then you can maybe talk a little bit about that? Okay. Okay. You haven't actually used the vocal in this. Did you Did you start off with the vocal, uh, Jonathan, and then take it away? Yeah, I started with the vocal and like um, recreating the whole song. And first, I got uh, a lot of frustration when I was working with the, the a cappella, and so I started to make something different, you know? Yeah. And I, the other day I was uh, trying to make like uh, another recreation from my beachy songs for for the people that is starting and uh, give it give it away. So this one I will give it away as a, as a project and because it was it was really quick to make. Yeah, well you know this this was my original idea for for the task was that you know you can start off with the a cappella and um, but then yeah. that, you know maybe something kind of brand new comes off the back of it so. Um, so I'm really happy that you were able to to find that, um, and also f you know use this new device in Ableton. Uh, yeah, it's the thing I, I love using the, those those MIDI devices in Ableton. Yeah, it's really, it's really great. Yeah, totally. Um, cool. So uh, I think we're over to uh, Ramon now. Um, your track. Let's just play that. You you were the first one off the mark. I think you sent this to me on Friday night. Was it? <laughs> oh, oh, <yeah. laughs> And, uh, and, and you were like super excited about this as well. So I think we should have a listen and then I'd, you know, I'll, I'll have a quick, quick chat with you about it, okay? So okay. Uh, let's just play this. Um, Very, very nice. It's got your signature kind of ambient sound. Um, can, you, can you tell me about the, I love, I love the sort of arpeggio uh, at the start. Can you just tell me how you created that? Like what device you used or how you, did you play in the arpeggio yourself? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, and I started with a bass line for the vocal. Um, and the, the, the epiccio part is a simple uh, road piano and um, okay. I put on it uh, a lot of filters and effects and changed a little bit the um, release and attack time, you know, and yeah, then comes, uh, in the break comes uh, also a uh, chord sound, um, uh, yeah, and with all these elements I built the 
breakdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so from where where we're playing now, this is this is the breakdown section, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. And and um, I mean, you know, it's I, I really like because it gets it's kind of really kind of beautiful and lush leading up to that, and then when the beat comes in, it's quite kind of hard and aggressive. Um, yeah. Where is is there a kind of moment where where the more kind of chordal or the those arpeggio elements come back in with the beat, or you want to do you want to make that quite a contrast? You know, having that kind of beauty of the of the arpeggio with the kind of hardness of the beat. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I have the uh, idea to uh, put in the main part uh, some vocal cuts from the vocal. Um, yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's great work anyway, Ramon. Um, very very nice. Hey. And, Thank you. Uh, okay, we're just going to move on. We've got one more left now. We're a bit, bit pushed for time. This, this is Ryan's track. Um, <coughs> so, where are you, Ryan? You're there. There you okay, go. Mate. You're still with us. Still <laughs> okay, uh, so let's have a listen to this. Oh, that's still Ramon's track. There we go. Timing a little bit there, isn't it, with the vocals? Yeah, it's a little bit off. Yeah. But it sounds great. I, mean, I just want to quickly flick to the end bit because uh, you, uh, you know, out of everyone, I think you've really played with the vocals. There's some really great yeah. sort of stuff you've like. You, there's a really great groove at the end. This bit here, love this bit here. This little vocal chop for yeah. um, delay and a lot of reverb on. Yeah, that's a wicked group. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, they're all great. All really good. Very good. You know, the standard is so high. <laughs> it's it is so high, you know, and it and it's well, it's a great way of, sort of showcasing your talent as well, you know, to uh, to take a vocal like that and. Um, you know, kind of. I mean, everyone's got. You know, for me, I can really see in everyone's style coming out and the individuality, um, which is great. So, well done, guys. Um, no I don't want to stress you. you out too much because you've been working so hard. <laughs> 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 but um, what, be, what I think would be really cool is, you know, rather than just thinking about the bigger picture uh, with, like, you know, all the elements um, mm -hmm. for the next task, just literally just come up with a beat and a bass line you know it doesn't have to be a, f a finished tune it could just be an eight bar th eight bar loop you know just something you know i think it's really good to actually just focus on on the bass or one element itself mm -hmm. um and just yeah you know just sort of have fun maybe come up with a couple of bass lines a couple of ideas uh and then uh in the next in the next session we can maybe look about look at you know putting some chords over the top of it you know maybe i can take one of them and then we can all have a go at putting some chords over the top and seeing what happens but um, but yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Been really enjoyable. Thank you, and thanks mate. a lot again for your Thank you. Thanks again, Ski, for your uh, for your help. Oh yeah, well, it's a pleasure. It's, it's you know, it's really good fun. Cool. Thanks, guys. Again, uh, you know, really high standard. I'm looking forward to hearing um, the next assignments when you get them in. Um, so.
Um, that's it. That's the uh, the end of another EMC session. Um, thank you very much to Ski. I uh, hope you guys were keeping up with Ski and all of the guys. Uh, the next EMC session is on Wednesday at 3 p.m. UK time. Also, tomorrow at 3 p.m. we have an exclusive artist hangout with Ruben Durand, uh, co-host and sidekick to Armin Van Buren's A State of Trance radio show. Uh, he's a successful DJ, a passionate producer, label owner of Statesman Recordings, uh, and last but not least, one of the reviewers at DJ Mag NL, keeping his, uh, keeping his ear out for new talent. Uh, Ruben is a big fan of the Academy and is live online tomorrow with the Hangout at 7, uh, at 3 p.m., uh, sorry, uh, with the seven finalists. So don't miss that. And in the meantime, if you're watching at home and you want to get a taste of the full EMC course for free, please go to www.pointblankonline.net forward slash free hyphen stuff and click on free course samples. That's it from us. We'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Cool.